Hello beautiful people. In this request slash guide video we'll take a look at the Schräge Musik gun system. Hope you enjoy. For fun as she wrote, do you happen to have done anything on Schräge Musik aircraft? Not a big ticket deal or really important, I'm just wondering. You know what, let's find out together. So, right off the bat, is it worth all the hassle? Short answer is no. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, okay, let's just look at it and you can decide for yourself. The phrase Schräge Musik is originally, as far as I have found out, the German term for jazz music or music that is either off-key or just weird in another way. The word Schräg also means slanted or angle. And in everyday talk, it can also refer to several different things. For instance, the character of a person. If he, she, or insert other, is not thinking or behaving as, in air quotes, norm, and it can be meant both in a positive and a negative way. So basically, it's a weirdo. So when we are talking about the weapon system, it's a funny term to use. It can on one hand refer to the actual angling of the cannons, but it can also mean that it's out of the norm because it's slanted. So funny dual meaning right there. Oh, those funny and clever Germans, weren't they just adorable? If you quickly look at the setup, you hit escape, then go to weaponry and scroll down until you find Schräge Musik activation. And then just pick a key to use. And back in the game, this happens. It's a little confusing and disorientating at first, especially whenever you try to maneuver your plane with it. Whenever you yaw or try to use your rudder, you move the reticle left and right. And whenever you pitch up and down, you move the reticle forward and aft. And you can see it right over there on the right hand with the sun, whenever I pitch up and down what happens. In War Thunder we have access to three different aircrafts capable of using this weapon system. Two are German and one is Japanese. And another reality check. If you play a match with either of these aircraft exclusively to get killed for the Schräg Musik, you will fail. Or more precisely, there is a very high chance that you will fail. You need to see the Schräg Musik as an optional weapon system that you have in case you get into a lucky position where you can use it. And there are several reasons for that, but more on that later. Let's take a look at the three planes. At battle rating 3.3, we have the air defense fighter Donier 217N2. So it's basically a bomber redesigned as a night fighter. On the Donier, we find four 20mm MG151s angled at around 75 to 80 degrees. The cannons have a total of 800 rounds, so 200 rounds for each cannon. And they are, of course, able to use the highly effective Minica shots the very lethal high explosive shell. Next up, at battle rating 3.7, we find the strike aircraft BF 110G4, also configured as a night fighter. On the 110, we have two 20mm MG FFM, again angled at around 75 to 80 degrees. The FF cannon is an older model, but these have been upgraded to M, which means that they can fire their Minica shots. The MG FF has a lower rate of fire than the newer MG 151, and since the BF 110 is a lot smaller than the Donya 217, we only find two cannons, but these have 480 rounds total, so 240 rounds for each cannon. And lastly, at BR 2.3, we have the Japanese Kif 45J. On the key we find two 20mm Ho-5 cannons angled at around 30 degrees. These cannons sadly only have 100 rounds of ammo each and they go very very fast. The Ho-5 cannon has a very high rate of fire with 950 rounds a minute. And that is the fastest firing World War II 20mm cannon we have in the game. Let's look at the battle ratings. For the Donier at battle rating 3.3, you will mostly, and in my own experience making the video, in 70 or 80% of the matches, meet the smaller Swedish B and T18 dive bombers. In one match alone, the opposite team had 6 of them. From the other nations, you'll mainly see B25s, Wellingtons, IL-4s, and PE2s. 
If you're very, very lucky, you'll meet a Halifax YER2 or PE8 in Upshare games. So most of the bombers I mentioned are small and nimble ones. And they more often than not are not flying high and straight, but they either dive towards the bases or go ground pounding. That leaves the few larger bombers you sometimes meet. So first you have to climb to altitude, chase them and hope you get there before they release their bombs or you miss your chance. And you need to be very very lucky for all those factors to happen in the Donier 217. The reasons being the Donier 217 is slow and does not climb well. Next is the BF110 G4 and chances are much much better here that you can actually use the Schräge Musik. Here you can find the B and T18s but not nearly as many. You'll find plenty of B25s and luckily some B17s. There's also a much larger chance that you'll meet Halifax and Stirring Bombers. Both are large and slow and present the best targets for the Schräge Musik. From Russia you'll meet the larger and slower YER2 and the larger but very dangerous PE8 and the smaller and more nimble PE2. For the key 45 sitting at a battle rate in 2.3, I would just forget about it. The vast majority of the bombers you'll meet will be smaller twin engine bombers. Sure some of them are slow, but they rarely fly in a straight line long enough for you to get into position. But the single worst thing about the Japanese Schräg Musik is the fact that you only have 100 rounds for each cannon, and the cannons fire very very fast, so 3 or 4 bursts and you're out of ammo. Besides that, the lower angle of the cannons means that nearly all of the rear gunners can shoot at you. The cannons won't give you a safe angle for shooting up at the bomber's unprotected and weak belly. The only redeeming factors for the Key 45 is that it is very fast and it has a crazy rate of climb with almost 20 meters a second. You're actually much better off trying to use the 37mm cannon against bombers, but here you only have 15 rounds of ammo. The Key 45 doesn't have any light machine guns at all. Once you spend those 15 rounds, you're done. I tried for two days straight to get kills with Schräge Musik on all three aircraft. And I seriously only got one proper chance, and this is what happened. One thing to note, you need to get closer than 800 meters in order to do any damage. Because the Minica shots, the high explosive shell, actually detonates after that range. So luckily I got some hits on him, so at least I can show you how it actually looks. So I didn't get a kill out of it, just a kill assist. But as I said, there was basically the only chance I got, even though I really, really tried. But that being said, taking out the BF 110 and the Doe 217 is incredible fun no matter what. The BF 110 is incredibly dangerous with the 230mm cannons, and it doesn't take many hits for those cannons to kill both bombers and fighters. You can also equip the BF-110 with a 21cm Werfer Granate, and that one is also incredible fun, and it's actually much more reliable compared to the Schräge Musik in getting a bomber kill. And I made a video on how to use those, and the link is right up there in the corner.
The fun thing about the Donier 217 is that most people think it's a regular bomber. They don't pay attention until you hit them with four 20mm cannons and four light machine guns. And by then it's usually too late. So although it's big and slow, it can also be very, very fun. Just remember to always stay at altitude. The only reason you should go low is if you want to go ground pounding, which you definitely can with that armament. I think the best place for the Key 45 is in the hangar, but you can get lucky with a 37mm cannon and then it's fun enough. But that was about it. I had really hoped that I could have gotten some kills to show off how the Schrägel Musik works, but yeah, not really. But definitely take out the BF-110 and the Donier 217 just to have fun with, and maybe you can get lucky with some Schrägel Musik kills. But I suggest that you leave the Key 45 in the hangar. And that was about it for this video. I've added some links in the video description below, both for other relevant videos on the channel, but also for other ways for you guys to support the channel if you wish to do so. Thank you for watching, and until next time, remember to deploy your die breaks. Have a good one.